Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to take you on a different view today on our walk. It's quite windy today and until I get the new microphone, you might be able to hear me. It might be a bit better this way. So I'm going to have a wee chat today about um, healing. You know, and it can be a very frightening experience when we start to heal or if we're thinking about healing, because we have to think about things that have happened to us, the people that are involved, and the parts that we play in it. It can be quite scary. Looking at ways in which we've been attacked, and also having to go into that vulnerable state again of, of opening up with the fear of being attacked again whether it's physically, emotionally, psychologically. You know, and you can be made believe that it's something bad to start to heal because you have to become vulnerable and you have to open up to heal. And when we've been guarded and closed up due to our hurts, when you're unhealed, you know, we can't see the whole picture. When we're in that role of judging or believing the other is guilty or wrong, we can't get to forgiveness. We can't get to forgiveness of ourselves and then being able to move to a place of forgiveness for others, others' actions towards us. Believing that there needs to be consequences is also false and won't allow us to go into healing either. Now, I'm not talking about incredibly serious things here, like crimes. I'm talking about, in this video, more on the level of disagreements, disappointments, and those sorts of hurts that you face in your day-to-day -day relationships. So if we can't lean into forgiveness, we cannot move forward into healing. It's as simple as that. You cannot forgive yourself without forgiving the other. Forgiveness of ourselves is primary and then that leads to the forgiveness of others. And that's when the true healing begins. Now, sometimes people mightn't want to accept your forgiveness. They mightn't, maybe the relationship will end as a result of what happens. But in either way, you can still forgive others even if the relationship ends. So false forgiveness results in suffering. It always will bring us into a place of suffering. Believing a price has to be paid. Recognize Recognizing that we are still angry. When we're in suffering, it means there's still anger there. And that is a place of judgment. When we judge others, we are also judging ourselves. And that is what brings us into a state of anger. Also, if we think that we have to pardon the other person, that is also a false state of forgiveness. It has to be true forgiveness in order for us to truly heal. If you say you're going to pardon someone, you're not going to truly heal. You're always going to have a little bit of resentment there towards that individual or that situation that happened. Through healing, is to get to a place where you see your role within the situation, not telling yourself that you're fine and that you don't need healed and it's the other person or the situation that is wrong. Healing happens when you shift your thinking into love and into acceptance of all the roles that we all have played in dealing 
of whatever problems have arisen. So what I always ask myself if I've had disagreements with somebody or I'm in a situation that I feel I'm resisting, what I always ask myself is, have I ever made mistakes? And do I see myself as guilty when I make mistakes towards others? And the answer is no, we don't, unless we're very harsh with ourselves. We recognize that we're human and that we all make mistakes. And that the important thing is mistakes are learning opportunities. And it's important to realize and accept that, that when we make mistakes, others make mistakes too. And we have to look at those mistakes in the same way that we would look at ourselves and that we would want people to have compassion for us and care for us when we make mistakes and not to condemn us. This is the way forward to true healing. And it removes the fear of starting to heal. It removes the feeling that there is nothing to be afraid of, to open up and be vulnerable, and then to move forward and accept what's happened. You can lovingly correct the other, just as the way that we would accept a loving correction from someone if we have caused them harm. And we can do it without condemnation. This is the way forward. In this way, healing can happen not only for us, but also for the other. Looking at, looking at it in this way not only helps us to heal, but it helps the others to heal as well. And it can help healing to happen very quickly and not to be long and drawn out over years, which sometimes happens and can be very sad. Healing can only come from love towards another. It can never come from anger and it can never come from judgment. We show others that there is no reason to suffer anymore that we don't want to suffer and we don't want them to suffer. We want to let go and accept the situation. People will see us in a different way, a new light, and that's what brings true healing. And that is what allows us to let go of fear and the need to be right. Think, letting go of the fear and the need to be right and thinking that blaming the other is justified without taking a look at our own role in the situation. And if you feel that you're not quite strong enough at the moment, that there's still a lot of anger that is okay. Give it over to the universe for guidance and just take it one step at a time until you feel stronger. There's no time limit and once you feel stronger then you can move forward. So I hope that that helped in some sort of way. Me and Luna are going to carry on on our nice walk. So everybody out there, have a great day. Until next time, take care.